Majjimanikaya Sutta number 17 Vanapatta Sutta Jungle Thickets Thus have I heard. On one occasion the Blessed One was living at Savati in Jeta's Grove, Anatapindika's park. There he addressed the bhikkhus thus. Bhikkhus, Venerable Sir, they replied. The Blessed One said this. Bhikkhus, I shall teach you a discourse on jungle thickets. Listen and attend closely to what I shall say. Yes, Venerable Sir, the Bhikkhus replied. The Blessed One said this. Here, Bhikkhus, a Bhikkhu lives in some jungle thicket. While he is living there, his unestablished mindfulness does not become established. His unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated. His undestroyed contaminants do not come to destruction. He does not attain the unattained supreme security from bondage. And also, the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, robes, alms food, resting place and medicinal requisites are hard to come by. The bhikkhu should consider thus, I am living in this jungle thicket. While I am living here, my unestablished mindfulness does not become established. My unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated. My undestroyed contaminants do not come to destruction and I do not attain the unattained supreme security from bondage. And also, the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, robes, alms food, resting place and medicinal requisites, are hard to come by. That bhikkhu should depart from that jungle thicket that very night or that very day. He should not continue living there. Here, bhikkhus, a bhikkhu lives in some jungle thicket. While he is living there, his unestablished mindfulness does not become established. His unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated. His undestroyed contaminants do not come to destruction. He does not attain the unattained supreme security from bondage. Yet, the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites are easy to come by. The bhikkhu should consider thus, I am living in this jungle thicket. While I am living here, my unestablished mindfulness does not become established. My unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated. My undestroyed contaminants do not come to destruction. And I do not attain the unattained Yet supreme security the requisites from bondage. Of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, robes, alms food, resting place and medicinal requisites are easy to come by. However, I did not go forth from the home life into homelessness for the sake of robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites. Moreover, while I am living here, my unestablished mindfulness does not become established. My unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated. My undestroyed contaminants do not come to destruction and I do not attain the unattained supreme security from bondage. Having reflected thus, that bhikkhu should depart from that jungle thicket. He should not continue living there. Here, bhikkhus, a bhikkhu lives in some jungle thicket. While he is living there, his unestablished mindfulness becomes established. His unconcentrated mind becomes collected. His undestroyed contaminants come to destruction. 
he attains the unattained supreme security from bondage. Yet the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites, are hard to come by. The bhikkhu should consider thus. I am living in this jungle thicket. While I am living here, my unestablished mindfulness has become established. My unconcentrated mind has become collected. My undestroyed contaminants have come to destruction. I have attained the unattained supreme security from bondage. Yet the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites, are hard to come by. However, I did not go forth from the home life into homelessness for the sake of robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites. Moreover, while I am living here, my unestablished mindfulness has become established. My unconcentrated mind has become collected. My undestroyed contaminants have come to destruction, and I have attained the unattained supreme security from bondage. Having reflected thus, that bhikkhu should continue living in that jungle thicket. He should not depart. Here, bhikkhus, a bhikkhu lives in some jungle thicket. While he is living there, his unestablished mindfulness becomes established. His unconcentrated mind becomes collected. His undestroyed contaminants come to destruction. He attains the unattained supreme security from bondage. And also, the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, resting place and medicinal requisites are easy to come by. The bhikkhu should consider thus, I am living in this jungle thicket. While I am living here, my unestablished mindfulness has become established. My unconcentrated mind has become collected. My undestroyed contaminants have come to destruction and I have attained the unattained supreme security from bondage. And also, the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, resting place and medicinal requisites, are easy to come by. That bhikkhu should continue living in that jungle thicket as long as life lasts. He should not depart. Here, bhikkhus, a bhikkhu lives in dependence upon a certain village. Here, bhikkhus, a bhikkhu lives in dependence upon a certain village. While he is living there, his unestablished mindfulness does not become established. His unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated. His undestroyed contaminants do not come to destruction. He does not attain the unattained supreme security from bondage. And also, the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, resting place and medicinal requisites are hard to come by. The bhikkhu should consider thus, I am living in dependence upon this village. While I am living here, my unestablished mindfulness does not become established. My unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated. My undestroyed contaminants do not come to destruction, and I do not attain the unattained supreme security from bondage. And also, the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth with robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites are hard to come by. 
that bhikkhu should depart from that village that very night or that very day. He should not continue living there. Here, bhikkhus, a bhikkhu lives in dependence upon a certain town. While he is living there, his unestablished mindfulness does not become established. His unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated. His undestroyed contaminants do not come to destruction. He does not attain the unattained supreme security from bondage. And also, the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites, are hard to come by. The bhikkhu should consider thus, I am living in this town. While I am living here, my unestablished mindfulness does not become established. My unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated. My undestroyed contaminants do not come to destruction. And I do not attain the unattained supreme security from bondage. And also, the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites, are hard to come by. That bhikkhu should depart from that town that very night or that very day. He should not continue living there. Here, bhikkhus, a bhikkhu lives in dependence upon a certain city. While he is living there, his unestablished mindfulness does not become established. His unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated. His undestroyed contaminants do not come to destruction. He does not attain the unattained supreme security from bondage. And also, the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites, are hard to come by. The bhikkhu should consider thus, I am living in this city. While I am living in here, my unestablished mindfulness does not become established. My unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated. My undestroyed contaminants do not come to destruction. And I do not attain the unattained supreme security from bondage. And also, the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites, are hard to come by. That bhikkhu should depart from that city that very night or that very day. He should not continue living there. Here, bhikkhus, a bhikkhu lives in dependence upon a certain country. While he is living there, his unestablished mindfulness does not become established. His unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated. His undestroyed contaminants do not come to destruction. He does not attain the unattained supreme security from bondage and also the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites are hard to come by. The bhikkhu should consider thus, I am living in this country. While I am living here, my unestablished mindfulness does not become established. My unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated. My undestroyed contaminants do not come to destruction, and I do not attain the unattained supreme security from bondage, and also the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites are hard to come by. That bhikkhu should depart from that country that very night or that very day. He should not continue living there. Here, bhikkhus, a bhikkhu lives in dependence upon a certain person. While he is living, 
with that person. His unestablished mindfulness does not become established. His unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated. His undestroyed contaminants do not come to destruction. He does not attain the unattained supreme security from bondage. And also the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, resting place and medicinal requisites are hard to come by. The bhikkhu should consider thus. I am living in dependence upon this person. While I am living here, my unestablished mindfulness does not become established. My unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated. My undestroyed contaminants do not come to destruction, and I do not attain the unattained supreme security from bondage, and also the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites, are hard to come by. That bhikkhu should depart from that person without taking leave. He should not continue following him. Here, bhikkhus, a bhikkhu lives in dependence upon a certain person. Here, bhikkhus, a bhikkhu lives in dependence upon a certain person. While he is living there with this person, his unestablished mindfulness does not become established. His unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated. His undestroyed contaminants do not come to destruction. He does not attain the unattained supreme security from bondage. Yet, the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, resting place and medicinal requisites are easy to come by. The bhikkhu should consider thus. I am living in dependence upon a certain person. While I am living here, my unestablished mindfulness does not become established, and my unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated. My undestroyed contaminants do not come to destruction, and I do not attain the unattained supreme security from bondage. Yet, the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites, are easy to come by. However, I did not go forth from the home life into homelessness for the sake of robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites. Moreover, while I am living here in dependence on this certain person, my unestablished mindfulness does not become established. My unconcentrated mind does not become concentrated, and my undestroyed Contaminants do not come to destruction, and I do not attain the unattained supreme security from bondage. Having reflected thus, that bhikkhu should depart from that person after taking leave. He should not continue following him. Here, bhikkhus, a bhikkhu lives in dependence upon a certain person. While he is living in dependence upon this certain person, his unestablished mindfulness becomes established. His unconcentrated mind becomes collected. His undestroyed contaminants come to destruction. He attains the unattained supreme security from bondage. Yet, the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth such as robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites, are hard to come by. The bhikkhu should consider thus, I am living in dependence upon this person. While I am living here, 
My unestablished mindfulness has become established. My unconcentrated mind has become collected. My undestroyed contaminants have come to destruction, and I have attained the unattained supreme security from bondage. Yet, the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites, are hard to come by. Moreover, while I am living here, my unestablished mindfulness has become established. My unconcentrated mind has become collected. My undestroyed contaminants have come to destruction, and I have attained the unattained supreme security from bondage. Having reflected thus, that bhikkhu should continue following that person. He should not depart from him. Here, bhikkhus, a bhikkhu lives in dependence upon a certain person. While he is living with him, his unestablished mindfulness becomes established. His unconcentrated mind becomes collected. His undestroyed contaminants come to destruction, and he attains the unattained supreme security from bondage. And also the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, resting place, and medicinal requisites are easy to come by. The bhikkhu should consider thus, I am living here in dependence upon this person. While I am living here, my unestablished mindfulness has become established. My unconcentrated mind has become collected. My undestroyed contaminants have come to destruction, and I have attained the unattained supreme security from bondage. And also, the requisites of life that should be obtained by one gone forth, such as robes, alms food, Resting place and medicinal requisites are easy to come by. That bhikkhu should continue following that person as long as life lasts. He should not depart from him even if told to go away. That is what the Blessed One said. The bhikkhus were satisfied and delighted in the Blessed One's words. 